Hey guys, Fresh Designs here, and um, today I'm bringing you another uh, tutorial. This one will be Cinema 4D R13 uh, best render or save settings. So let's get right into it. Open up Cinema 4D. Um, now, before I suggest to do this before you uh, work on it, uh, before you um, start making whatever you're making, but you could do it after. So the first thing you want to do is go 1280 on the width and 720 on the height and then do what you have to do and then come back to it if not it's okay you could just change it you might have to make some adjustments to um, what you're doing but it doesn't really matter so under output just put the width 1280 height 720 keep it on pixels um, resolution you could always bump it up but 70 74 72 is fine um, film aspect ratio 1.778 should be the default and I don't know I think it comes on standard but it automatically changes when you go to 1280 by 720 so keep it on if you go to 720 it'll change automatically um, this is matters if you're making a picture or if you're making like an intro or something so keep it from 0 to whatever the end is but if you're doing just a picture or whatever that's fine. Go to save, save it where you want. Then this matters if you're saving it as a PNG. Um, save it as a PNG. The three main ones everyone uses is PNG, JPEG of course, and I suggest to use QuickTime Movie. Even if you're running out of PC, you do get better quality, but some use AVI Movie, so that's up to you. I'm running a PC, but I still use QuickTime because I think you get better quality. MP4 takes way too long and it's not worth it. I don't MP4 is not even a choice anymore because it wasn't that good. So once you do that, depth, I just keep it on 8 bit. If you have you're running a high power computer, you could put it on the 16 bit, but 8 8 I can't even talk today. 8 bit is perfectly fine. If you're using a PNG format, uh, make sure you click on straight alpha, alpha channel and straight alpha. But if you're just using um, JPEG or uh, QuickTime Movie, then you don't have to click on those or worry about those. Um, Multipass, just leave that whatever it is. And then anti-analyzing. This is where um, I like Cinema 4D. Does it, it has three choices now. It used to be a whole bunch of choices, really confusing. This is simple to the point. You're going to go to best, one by one, minimum level maximum level I put it on 16 by 16 but I have a very powerful computer it matters how much RAM and how much CPU you can use um, if you don't have a very powerful computer at all go 4x4 four four. if you have a pretty powerful computer go 8x8 eight eight. if you have a shitty ass Mac go 1x1 one one. No, I'm just kidding I, I don't like Macs though but um, you can go 4x4 four four, 8x8 eight eight. I go 16x16 16 16. it's up to you and your computer and options some people change the depth to six but I don't really see it doing anything and it doesn't speed up anything so just leave all that the same and just leave all that the same and that's about it guys